Good evening. You're watching special local 10 news coverage of the severe weather that's been pounding South Florida. Our Hatzel Vela was live on the famed Hollywood Broadwalk earlier, bringing us a closer look at the strong wind gusts and heavy rain drenching the area. As good a look as we can get right. through that camera lens, which is full of water there. And here's video from a soaked South Beach. Visitors there, well, they have been dodging the rain left and right instead of, of course, enjoying all of the sun and the sand that they came to South Beach for, of course. And we are officially under a flood advisory in Broward and Miami-Dade counties. So let's get right over to Local 10 Certified Meteorologist Luke Doris with everything that you need to know. Luke, break it down for us. Well, essentially, we're dealing with the effects of a tropical storm. This is not a tropical storm, but the effects are so similar. Tropical storm force gusts across a big chunk of the area. Look at this 56 mile per hour wind gust that we saw in Dania Beach, Sand Key. The Keys have had some high winds. Key West at 52, Fort Lauderdale at 56. So far, MIA. You know, that's a little bit further away from the coast. The highest winds will be near the coast. They've had 38 there. Now, so far, so good as far as severe thunderstorms. We haven't had any warnings today, though we do still have that risk as we go through tonight for 60 mile per hour winds that would cause damage if they were to occur and even some isolated tornadoes. But again, haven't had that so far. But as we go into tonight, those ingredients may come together a little bit more. So we're not out of the woods here. This low will actually make its closest approach tonight. So that brings the moisture. It also brings uh, uh, high winds that are above the ground by 5,000 feet or so. That's important because that can make the storm stronger tonight and it can cause them to want to rotate. We'll see if that actually happens. We've got the energy there. Kind of all the ingredients are in place, but again, so far so good. We haven't had that. Just gusty showers moving through. Here's the radar, and I think the strongest batch is going to be this clump that has moved through the Keys. So this has brought 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts there, and this one that's off of Key Largo too, that's the strongest cell on radar right now. As that line miss, moves northward, that'll probably bring the worst of the weather that we'll experience out of this event. Nonetheless, rain over day in Broward is much more patchy, but still some strong downpours in locations. There's the flood advisory that'll be expiring at 915. That's where we have some light flooding on the roadways. All right, so as we go through tonight, this is the forecast computer models. You can see that line pushes north again. That'll probably be the worst of it. We'll call it about 11 until 3 o'clock in the morning or so. This is 2. You can still see some strong cells possible there. And then by tomorrow morning, this thing's kicking out of here. Sunday will be much, much better than what we had today. It won't be like a tropical storm. It'll be windy, but some sunshine coming back our way. Laren? All right, thank you much, sir. We're looking forward to that sunshine, and the wicked winds have left some parts of South Florida and families in the dark. According to Florida Power and Light, about 1,100 customers at last check were without power in Miami-Dade County, and FPL tells us power has been restored to some throughout Broward County. At first, more than 4,000 customers were without power, but now around 1,200 customers are dealing with outages. And the strong winds are also affecting our airports. According to Flight Aware, 377 flights have been delayed at Miami International Airport so far today with one cancellation. And 251 flights have been delayed at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with one cancellation. And before we go, we want you to know that the forecast is always just a fingertip away anytime with the Local 10 weather app. Scan that QR code there with your phone right now to download the Local 10 weather app. It's all free and all that information that Luke gets real time is there in the palm of your hand in real time. Just a, a great tool to have and thanks for watching. We'll see you again at the top of the next hour or sooner if events warrant. We're going to say that ain't going to happen. We're going <laughs> to wheel it and we're going to think positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Stay dry out there. Look at that camera shaking in the wind. Looks like the water subsided there, at least for a little while. We'll see if it cycles back through. Stick with us. We'll see you a little later in the evening.